everyone. Happy New Year. I hope this video finds everybody well and that you are all having a great start to the new year. Today's video is a tag video and I was tagged by Sandy of Miss May 27 and I will put her link below. She's awesome. I've talked about her before. Beautiful makeup artist living in France and she tagged me to do the All About Eyes tag. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. My favorite eye cream is the Shiseido Beneficiance Wrinkle Resist 24 Eye Cream. I love this eye cream. Mainly I need it for hydration. So this provides great hydration for me. I use it in the morning and at night and love it. I ran out last month and I tried some different things and I just, my eyes were just looking really dry and concealer looked gross. It just, I, I love this stuff in terms of hydration. I was going to show you one other product that I've been testing for the past month that I really like. I felt like my eye area was getting really puffy. I don't know if it was allergies or what, but I was in Ulta and got this. It's Exuviance Age Reverse Eye Contour. And this doesn't really provide any of the hydration, but it did help with some of the puffiness, which normally I would say that nothing really helps with puffiness, but this stuff has been working. So what I'll do is use this a couple times a week and I use this only at night and I let it soak in, pat it in with my ring finger and then what I do because I do need some extra hydration is put the Shiseido on top of it. My favorite concealer this year has been the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. My color is in buff and I just feel like, you know, I'm mature, I'm over 40 and I'm starting to get those wrinkles around my eye area. And I'm just finding that the concealers that I used to use with the thicker consistencies are not looking as good as they used to. So this is a really light consistency. It reminds me of the Touche Clot pens from Chanel or YSL. Um, you know, it may not be as brightening as the one from YSL because this one is just the concealer. Um, but I really like this light consistency. And what I do is kind of put it in a V there. I don't get it too close to my under eye area. Instead, I just pat it up. I'll try to do a video on this someday, how I do this. Actually, I think in my Get Ready With Me 10 minute video, I showed how I do this. Um, and then sometimes what I'll do is take my beauty blender and just pat it in. But I'm finding some of the heavier concealers that I used to love, they just get settled in the fine lines and more the fine lines towards the center of my eye um, or towards the bridge of my nose than further out. So anyway, this has been my favorite. My favorite eyebrow product, mainly I use the Smashbox and this is the Brow Tech in Taupe Soft Brown and it looks kind of grimy. I don't use the wax side. What I do is use the lighter shade here and then I take the Smashbox angled brush and use that. Now, I use that on days when my eyebrows are looking pretty good. The other day I went and got my eyebrows plucked and I don't know, I felt like I kind of got a botched job, especially on this one. So if I need to do some real filling in and kind of drawing and making up for areas that don't have hair, what I like to use is the Brow Wiz by Anastasia and my color is soft brown. Unfortunately, it, it came with a little spoolie, but mine popped off, which is kind of annoying. But I really like this pen because you can get, or it's like a little wind-up pencil, you can get really fine brush strokes, which I like. So that way, it looks more like a natural eyebrow. My favorite eye primer is the Laura Mercier Eye Primer Eye Basics in Wheat. And a couple of years ago, I probably would have said the MAC Paint Pots, but I feel that when they dry out, I'm tugging harder on my lids to spread it around, unless I use a brush, which, which helps. I use the Real Techniques little purple brush. Um, but lately, I've been using the Laura Mercier probably the past couple of years, and I just find it's easier to spread, and um, I feel like I'm not tugging on my eyes as much. This one was the hardest question on the whole tag for me. Favorite eye palette. It's so hard to choose one. If I really could choose one, I would choose my homemade palette with some MAC shadows and some other shadows on it. But if I had to just pick one that I think is universally flattering on everyone and you can do a lot of different looks with it, 
is the Chanel in number 14 Mystic Eyes. And this is the one where it's got the pink, the silver, kind of a medium brownish gold, and then a darker brownish copper color. And what I like about these Chanel colors are, even though they have some sheen to them, there's not a lot of sparkle, except in the silver one, which I don't really use, unless I use it for the inner, cor inner corner. But um, I really like this one. I haven't used it in a while on myself, but it's one of those that I bring anytime I'm doing somebody else's makeup, and it just seems to work well on a bunch of different people. My favorite eye makeup remover is the Kiehl's Supremely Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. I've been using this for years and just love it. This is a cream base, so if you don't like a cream, then you're probably not going to like this. But I like it because it's really gentle, it doesn't sting my eyes, it doesn't make my eyes cloudy. Although sometimes if I'm using a waterproof mascara or false eyelashes, I find that I do need to use one of the oil-based ones. So in that case, I'll use the Laura Mercier. My favorite mascara would have to be, I actually have two, a high-end and a low-end. The high-end is the Benefit Bad Gal Lash. This has a huge wand, so if you don't like a huge wand, you may not like this. Um, but I use this for my top lashes, or I will use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. This wand is more traditional, and I always use a different mascara on my lower lashes. I use the Clinique naturally glossy jet black mascara. I think I've been using that for probably 20 years. My favorite eyeliner would probably be a pencil and my favorite pencil is the Revlon Colorstay eyeliner in black. This just does not budge. If I put it on in the morning I can look in the mirror and that night it is still exactly where I put it. Now when I put it on my waterline it will come off during the day um, but probably, you know, it lasts about five or six hours, where on top of my lid, it will last all day. Twelve hours, whatever it is, however long I wear it, it looks the exact same as when I put it on in the morning. This was another hard one. I would say, if I had to pick one right now, my favorite single eyeshadow would be Mulch by MAC. It is a bronzy brown. It has... It kind of a copper bronzy brown. It has some sheen, but it doesn't really have sparkle. So you can wear it on the lid, and I can also wear it in the crease. And a lot of times I wear it on my lower lash line underneath my lashes. So I would go with mulch. And for the last one, I would say my favorite pair of sunglasses that I've had for years now, but I always go back to them, are the Tom Fords. And here they are. I got these a couple years ago in Hawaii, and I still love them. I think they're still in style right now, and so I would pick these. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.